Hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today's video. So if you thought that my other earrings were big, like look at these. These are ginormous and I love them. They're so cute. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna do a drugstore tutorial today I'm and I'm gonna use a bunch of different stuff. Um, for instance, I have a lot of stuff here that I'm just gonna show you. We are going to use some Scandal Lashes. We're gonna use the Essence um, Go for the Glow Highlighter Palette. Looks like this. We're gonna use the Oolala La Palette from ColourPop a JD Glow Highlight. I'm gonna use the Revolution Foundation. So yeah, I have a bunch of stuff to use today. And uh, yeah, obviously I created this look. It's a little bit more of like a get ready with me style of video. I talk a little bit, I focus, I, I focus on the makeup, but I also talk. So I'm assuming that this video is pretty long and I do apologize for that, but at the same time, I like to watch Get Ready With Me videos. I love longer tutorials, like 20 minutes to 30 minutes, instead of like watching a seven minute with only music. That's just what I like. And they get longer when you talk. Like I get, I know that you can do like voiceover and such, but I don't like to do voiceovers. Only on my three looks one palette. But I'm gonna shut up now and let's just hop into today's video. Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> I have my hair like this because um, I only clean my hair once a week. My hair, since it is curly and I can't brush it and I don't use any heat or anything on it, it gets very frizzy from time to time and my curls kind of get straight. So what I do is that I just put a little bit of water in it, like I have this spray bottle, and then I plop my hair. If you don't have curly hair, I don't think you know what plopping is. Maybe you do. I'm just gonna take my Wet n Wild primer. Finally have this again. I haven't used this for like six months or so. But it's basically when you just turn your head upside down and then, you, ooh, my God, I don't have a mirror. And then you um, just place your hair in a towel like I have, like a microfiber towel. And then um, you kind of, I'll, I'll insert a picture. It's kind of hard to explain. Hopefully I can find a picture, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna take it off later, but I just need the hair to kind of settle in a bit. And I just wanted to start filming. So I felt like, you know what? I don't mind looking like this. I'm pretty comfortable with myself. So I thought that I would use my Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I don't like this. I, I don't hate it but I just think that it's a little bit too matte for my skin and it is also a tad too light. I'm just going to slap on some dots. I can't get over the smell of this. I still don't know what it smells like, but it is smelling of an herb. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade Sand. The other one was in the shade F3. As you can see, this is not my shade either, and I think I took way too much, but it's just so the foundation will be a little bit more luminous and a little bit darker, but I'm not gonna take like too much of this. And I'm gonna use a sponge. This is the LA Girl sponge. So many people have talked about this. So I just had to go ahead and purchase it. So you get two sponges and I do think that they are pretty, pretty thick. Like not thick, they are pretty stiff. And I don't usually like that, but this, I, I actually think that these are pretty good. But if you hate like harder sponges, they are, they're not hard, they are firm. I like them. So if I can wear the foundation like this, I think that it's pretty okay actually. I like whoo, I like it when I can blend it out with a sponge and everything because it takes away a little bit of the coverage. It makes it when I blend in the other foundation a little bit more luminous and I can deal with it, you know. I'm gonna take my uh, Essence Foundation Concealer. This is the Healthy Glow one, I think, in the shade 10. I've used this so much, so it's running a little bit low. But I'm not gonna cream contour today. I've been a little bit turned off by cream contour as of lately. This is something that always oh, happens to me. 
sometimes I love cream contour and I kind of live for it and now I'm just like no it's just an extra step I just don't want to do it I talked about this concealer before that it kind of dries into the skin kind of quick so I do place a little bit under my eyes and then uh, I'm gonna blend that out and then I'm gonna apply it to the rest of my face and then I'm gonna apply a little bit right here. Can you see now that my wand doesn't really pick up that much? So it's almost time to remove the stopper, but just not yet. Oh my god, and my one of my favorite websites is Cosmetic for Less. It's a German website and they have a bunch of different brands uh, like Essence and such. But now they have turned up the shipping to Sweden. So now it's $13 almost, which is maybe like $15. No, 13 euros, I mean, which is probably like maybe $16, $15. I think that that is pretty high for it to be like in Germany. Um, they do have like coupon codes that you can use, so you get four euros off which I used to do. It was $9, 9 euros before, I mean. And I always used to do that because then it was like only five euros for shipping. And I think that that is, that is okay. Now I'm like, I don't even want to order from you. So I'm going to powder my under eyes and I take the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. And I take a mix of these two shades. I saw that, um... We in Sweden now got, so we can purchase like backups for this or like replacements, which is oh, pretty nice, but I'm not gonna do it. I don't think that it's that good. I'm just trying to get a little bit more use out of the contour products that I have. You know, I did my bronzer video or my bronzer collection video. And in that video, I showed you guys all of my bronzers, obviously. And I just found so many palettes that I just need to use more. So now I'm trying to use them up, not use them up, but I'm trying to get some use out of them. So I'm just placing this wherever I placed the concealer. So I'm gonna take my RCMA powder. This is just in another jar. I need to take a powder when I have this kind of mix. Um, I feel like it doesn't really last if I don't. So I did my brows off camera and I do have a brow tutorial. I'll link it up here and it's always linked in my description box in case you wanna check it out. But today we're gonna use the Oolala palette from ColourPop. This is so pretty. If you haven't seen the Oolala palette, this is what it looks like. So obviously we're gonna go for something pink today. I am going to start off with, I think I'm gonna start off with Poodle. So I'm dipping into Poodle and it doesn't contain a lot of kick up, but the brush picks up a lot. I am tapping my brush off because I have done my base. So something, ooh, okay. This might be a little bit of a too big brush, but I'm just taking this, I'm not taking this too far up because I think that this was um, a little bit more pigmented than I thought that it would be. So I think I'm gonna go in with a soft core as my um, sort of transition shade. But something about my hair, is that I always have frizzy hair. By the way, I just let it down now, but I always have frizzy hair because I can't stand when my hair is flat. You know, I went on the um, no poo method, which means that you only clean your hair with conditioner. And I just noticed that my hair was getting like flatter and flatter and it just looked very dirty, you know, very, very greasy. And I just don't like that effect, and it was just too flat. I like big hair. I don't mind flat hair on uh, uh, other ones, but on me, I just don't like it. I've never liked it. Always when I straighten my hair, I used to tweeze it just so it would get a little bit bigger. Because on me, like, I, I don't know. I just don't really like the look of me. That's what I'm trying to say. But I'll take frizz any day instead of, like, flat hair on me. I was actually very, very surprised that this shadow was so pigmented. I was not expecting that. So I'm gonna dip into the shade Soft Ochre, which is this middle shade. This is, ooh, okay, this contains a little bit more kick up, so 
I'm gonna be careful, but let's see. Okay, this is also very pigmented. I'm not complaining. It's just that I wasn't really expecting it because I, I don't know, I just wasn't expecting it. But okay, I'm gonna do like that. And then I'm taking a clean, smaller brush and then I'm just gonna blend out the edges. I do wanna go in with the shade Sandbar actually. I'm taking this and I do a fiber brush. This is the Morphe 429 brush, tapping it off. I have a br brush video and I have said that this brush doesn't pick up like too much product. It kind of more feathers it on a little bit. So I like it for that, but I think I want a little bit more of that color actually. Okay, I know that this looks very patchy. Uh, it's not the shadows. I just didn't blend them out correctly. Uh, I'm gonna go in with another brush. This is the brush that we used to just blend out the crease or the transition shade. But I'm going in with a little bit more of the shade Sandbar. And I'm just sticking it on and then I'm gonna blend it out. We are going full pink today, guys. I'm gonna go in with this brush again and just blend these two together a bit. So I wanna add a little bit of dimension and depth into this look, so I'm gonna go in with the shade Caddy. This does not contain a lot of kick up, so that's neat. I am using this, or I'm taking this on a Morphe M, 562 brush. Oh, I feel like this is a little bit too loose. So I'm gonna take this one and just apply the color. And then I'm gonna go in with the Morphe brush again and just blend out the edges. Seems to blend out beautifully and very, very easy actually. So I'm pleasantly surprised about that. You, knew, you do need to like stamp it on. I thought so anyway to get like pigment quick, but it blends out very, very fast and beautifully. So anyway, I'm going in with the shadow sandbar once again. I just want to intensify the pink a little bit. Loving this look actually. I think that this is so pretty. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Sandbar under my eyes. Oh, I got some in my eye. So now I got a pink eye. I might go in with more color later on, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now I'm gonna take this brush once again. I don't have any additional product or anything on it. And I'm just gonna blend out the lines a little bit. So once again, I love this technique where I take the brush and I kind of place it like upwards. And then I just do like this. I feel like I don't really mess up the look and I don't know, I really like the way that this kind of displays the color. So per usual, I'm just gonna take my Anastasia concealer and just cut my lid, and I'm gonna do this really, really quick. So I know that this is a little bit extra, but I'm actually gonna take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to carve this out, because I want this shade to really, really stand out, and I feel like it will do that on a white base. So I just kind of remove all of the excess product, but I do this very, very carefully so I won't mess up the lines and then I'm just gonna take this Ooh, careful and then what I do is I try to really drag this so I fade it towards this so we can kind of blend it out with this like this part and then this part 
So I'm gonna go in with the shadow Tickled. I can't really hold it up right now because yeah, I broke it. But I'm just going in with this on a flat brush. It feels a little bit crumbly. Uh, and I'm applying this dry. Oh, this is such a pretty shade. I don't think you need to, but I'm gonna wet this. <laughs> So I'm gonna go in with to the shade Sandbar, which was that really pretty pink. And I'm just going to tap some right over here, just so we get that neat line. And I'm trying not to blend so we don't get like too much of the shimmers onto the mattes. And now I'm gonna take the purple shade, which was called Caddy, and I'm gonna do the same so we kind of get Get it to be like even. Okay, I like this, but I have a lot of fallout, so I'm just gonna whisk that away, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, and then I will be right back. Okay, so obviously I wanna have like a b really big, strong eyeliner. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna have like a big eyeliner, but I'm gonna have an eyeliner anyway, and this is the one I bought. I bought this. Because I haven't bought new eyeliners in a long time because I've had so many and then I went to my drawer to open up a new one and I did but it was all like dried out. I think that it was something wrong with it and I do have like eyeliner pens but I can't really work with them because I feel like they aren't as easy to work with because I feel like the tip is always a little bit dry. So I bought this one from Isadora. I bought this numerous times. It's waterproof and I love this eyeliner. I bought this like the first time when I was like 18 or something and then I have repurchased it a million times. So the last thing I want to do for the eyes is just like an inner corner, not inner corner, but eyeliner right here. And I'm going to take the ColourPop eyeliner. I don't know if they still have these, but I have mine. This is in the shade Boots. So I'm just going to pop this on really quick. And the lashes I'm wearing are the Scandal Lashes in the style Daring Darla. I'm gonna take them out of the packaging just so you can see. These are obviously not the pair that I used, but I have like three or four backups of these. I always purchase these. These are around $10, so they aren't like the most affordable lashes, but they are the most affordable, beautiful lashes that I know of, and I just love scandal lashes. So I'm gonna contour a bit, and I'm gonna use my NYX Love Contours All palette. This one I have really been liking the past couple of weeks. I haven't used it every day but i've used it more than i have in like a year but i i am really really light-handed with these because they are very very pigmented this is that is something that i feel nyx are pretty good at you know coming up with a lot of like pigmented products i don't know how i feel about this contour for today though it feels very, very light, actually. I have been contouring a lot with, like, the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm lately. Woo! <laughs> yeah. That was beautiful. So, I wasn't really feeling this NYX contour today, so I'm gonna take the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm. Uh, I think that this is... This is a little bit darker and um, yeah, it's a little bit more noticeable, but it's kind of what I want to go for today. But I'm not going in with too much. I feel like the balm could be like drugstore and high end, not high end, but they are like this brand in between. Same with Pixie. So I feel like some brands are just like in between brands. So I'm gonna take the balm, take home the bronze bronzer in the shade Oliver. Love this bronzer. This is so beautiful. This is also very, very cool toned. And if you are pale, 
I definitely recommend this. They do have two other shades as well. The middle shade is called Thom Thomas, but I do feel like that is a little bit more red. And then Greg, I don't know about that, but check it out. They have darker ones as well. I might even like this bronzer more than my Essence one, which says a lot. I like them for like different, different reasons and like different things. But I feel like this really, really uh, complements your look. And like when you want it to be like nothing orange, then this is just perfect. So I'm going to go for highlight before I do my blush today. And I have so many new highlights. I even have more right here. I am very, very intrigued about the... I'm going to show you which ones. So this is one from JD Cat, and I don't think we can purchase JD Cat in Sweden. So this was sent to me by LEF. This is the You Glow Girl Baked Highlight in the shade Pink Goddess. I think that this is going to be too dark for me, but I thought that I would try it. And look at the print of this. It's, it's not like a full dome. It just looks so beautiful. But as I said, I think that this will be too dark for me, but I really, really want to try it. Ooh, it contains a lot of glitter. And it doesn't really stick to the skin that well. I'm going to take a little bit more. I'm going to take it on my Sigma brush instead because um, I feel like it, this product needs a little bit of a stiffer brush actually isn't as dark as it looks in the pan but it doesn't really pack a punch either but i feel like yeah it leaves a cast on me so it is unfortunately too dark for me so i'm gonna take this instead this is nyx from the new collection this is the machinist ignite highlight duo this has a pink shift to it so i'm taking this on the color pop f5 brush oh that was pretty it's very very icy but it's very pretty actually so i'm gonna take this one from nyx the white shade and i'm just gonna take this in my inner corner right here since it has like a pink reflect to it I don't love it, but I'm gonna leave it that bad. So instead, I'm actually gonna take the Essence Go for the Glow Highlighting Palette in the shade 02, The Warms. I'm just gonna remove the plastic. And I'm gonna go for this pink shade. I'm gonna take... The middle shade and I'm gonna use this in my inner corner instead or like over this but as you can see they kind of perform like um, shimmer shades instead of like performing like an highlight and I feel like it look very very powdery right here it might be due to the fact that I've used like three highlights now I'm just a little bit tired of this I'm just gonna go for my pixie one because I just did not like them uh, I need to use them off camera or like I need to try them out I need to try them out more and see if I can make them work but uh, for now I'm just gonna go with my pixie one and I'm just gonna apply a little bit right here because I want to Okay, let me use this blush from Milani. This is in the shade Delosio Pink. I love this shade, but it is very bright and I can't really have it to every look. So I want to use this today. So I think I'm going to take this Morphe lipstick. This is their cream lipstick in the shade Wink Wink. It looks like this. It's beautiful. I love this lipstick and their cream formula. 
question is if I should have lined my lips. Yeah, I think I'm gonna line my lips first because I feel like this is a little bit too uh, sheer. So I'm gonna apply this lip liner from Isadora. This is in the shade 26 Fuchsia. It's much darker than the lipstick, but hopefully we can make it work. So when that is done, I'm just gonna apply the lipstick once again. Yeah, I think I like this. So the last thing I am gonna use is the Makeup Mister from uh, Ofra. I know that this is not maybe technically a drugstore, but honestly, this is so affordable for how much you get. You get 240 milliliters, but I do think that this smells like a perfume, like a unisex perfume, and the mist is kind of harsh. This is like the only mist that I have that I feel like I need to like really stand back when I use this. So I'm just gonna ooh, spray from a far distance. Distance. Yeah, it really smells like guy perfume actually. Or unisex, but. Mm. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I really, really like it. Actually, my boyfriend came, came home and I was like, what do you think about my eyes? And he was like, yeah, you look pretty good. Um, it was a long time ago that, since you used pink. And I was like, I know, I love to use pink eyeshadows, but I've been so buried into like greens and purples. So now I feel like oh, I got my Barbie moment. Let me just round things up and talk a little bit about the products that I have used today. The foundation, like, I just don't really love this and it smells so much of herbs, it's just crazy to me. I don't like the fact that it's a doe food applicator, but I can use it. Like, you know my Physicians Formulas um, Healthy Foundation? I love, and that is a doe food applicator, but I feel like this just doesn't really hold up, help, helps up, and especially like around my nose. I'm not crazy about this, but I use it and I'm gonna finish it up. The Essence Go for the Glow is fine, but I feel like just, I used this on top of like two other con um, highlights, I mean, so I just need to use this a little bit more and like try it out because I was just so tired when it came to my highlight that I just, whoa, couldn't really use it. Uh, it just didn't look good on my skin. And then this Oolala palette from ColourPop, I really, really enjoy actually. This is only $12. Yes, I know that the sandbar shade is already existing that, that I also have in my collection, but I don't think that I have any of the other shades in my collection. I might, I just, I don't really know. I really like this shade, but it is a little bit more of that crumbly, formula which means that if you're gonna stick a brush in you're gonna get a lot of kick up and you're gonna get a lot of fallout as well but this is kind of the product that is very easy to just kind of flick away it's really really easy to just go in with like a fan brush or something and just kind of just remove it the other shades didn't contain as much kick up as some of the other color pop formulas that i have and i feel like they all worked really really good then we had this highlight this is a glittery highlight i did not expect that to be so because it just doesn't really look like that in the pan i hadn't even swatched this like look at this this is so pretty actually but it is very, very glittery, but it looked beautiful on the skin. This was by far the favorite one that I used today out of the new ones. Obviously, I like my Pixi one more, but I feel like this is a bit too dark for my skin, but maybe during the summer, because I really want to use this, because, it, I mean, I blended it out a bit right here, but you can see it looks really, really blinding. Uh, and then I used this one from NYX. This is the Machinist. I think that this side is really, really nice. It really, really is like a dupe of the Pixie Duo that I have, that I use today. Look at that. It's really the same kind of formula it seems like to be when you swatch it, but this side is not. This is more of like a sheerer, thicker, harder consistency. Looks like that. It just doesn't really apply that well, but I need to use them more uh, in order to like make up my mind. And then I have the Ofra makeup fixer i don't like the scent uh hopefully that will go away uh i do have a, the most of it has gone away by now but i smell like a man i really really do i am one that loves female scents i don't like the unisex kind of uh, sh smells going on that is just not my style so this is just ugh. But hopefully it goes away. But yeah, overall, like the palette was the star of the show today, I think. That was just amazing. And I'm so happy because I have been a little bit like, like this 
when it comes to ColourPop, but this palette I really enjoyed and I love the look that I came up with today. So I really hope that you as well like the look and that you really liked the video. Please, if you did, subscribe and like. If you didn't like the video, please feel free to thumbs the video down and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!